Thomas Light, you're so, an asshole. How to yeah, fail I, at yeah. making a jump. Yeah, t tell me about Wait, it. Seriously, uh, do how not, are we supposed to make like, that? How jump? many times? God, I can't remember how many times. God damn it, it's painful to look at. <laughs> I missed the air dash. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this! Holy makes shit! Me, what? Makes me wish. There it, it we makes go. Me, makes me it storm does. eagle. Storm wow. eagle, also known as the easiest maverick ever. Johnny he looks more intimidating than the penguin. Prepare to be raped is what the storm eagle said to me. <laughs> yes. No less. It's storm eagle. I don't give a shit. It's storm eagle. It's storm eagle. He's dead. There. Drop it. Storm what Eagle is, Storm is dead. Storm Eagle! Epic fail, that was Storm <laughs> Eagle, and now this. There you go. Storm Come on. Eagle. You can Come do on, it. You're stuck. <laughs> <laughs> go, X, go! <laughs> you, you can do it! <laughs> you <laughs> can do it! Yeah. There you go, yay! You got the light capsule. And Dr. Light, you're an asshole. And he's only going to get worse from here, folks. Wait till you see X4 and X5. Wait, why Why is Dr. Light an asshole, apart from he, the fact that he's... Because these um, are parts that only work for X. Why does he hide them in puzzle rooms? And in, in later X games, he hides them in rooms where if you fuck up, you die instantly. Maybe he just has a lot of faith in you. He's an asshole, that's why. <laughs> we'll crash into those days. <laughs> His name is Spark Mandrill. <laughs> <laughs> Spark Mandrill. <laughs> Spark Mandrill. <laughs> that is that is the most hilariously phallic name I've ever heard. <laughs> what Mandrill? <laughs> it's better than Hardman. Spark Mandrill. Man yeah. How, it, <laughs> yeah, that's right. It's better it, than Hardman. No, Woodman. Woodman. <laughs> it either reads it either reads Spark Mandrill or Spark Mandrill. <laughs> and it's. <laughs> I am still a second grader on the inside, aren't I? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you are. No, no, the easiest without his weakness. This is by far the easiest boss with his weakness. Just watch oh, this. It's the okay. freezing weapon. Yep, he doesn't really move this at guy, all. <laughs> this guy has no chance. <laughs> 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 oh man, this is almost unfair. Ow, you you got hit. Actually, wow. those, those are kind of fast. Oh boo hoo, he's still easy. Yeah, he's still bitch. he's still he's still a bitch. <laughs> bitch easy, <laughs> but still. <laughs> but we're That's off armored armadillo. Hooray! Who has the most Who annoying what? light capsule to get in this game? So we'll show it later because we have to come back and get it some other time. Nice annoying you, white. Annoying white castle. Light castle. Yes. Annoying like White Castle. Castle. Yes. There is it's indeed a, a restaurant in this level. 16 bit, and they still can't give Mega Man a decent explosion effect. I would have loved like, a nuclear explosion. Yeah, it's like kamikaze. <laughs> you get yeah. the what the fuck. You get the what the fuck bomb every time he blows up. <laughs> <laughs> Zero. You've been cosplaying Star Wars for too long. Get back here, you son of a bitch. Jabba will be pleased. <laughs> Chao Tzu, wait! Don't do it! Get <laughs> off on Chao Tzu! No! Chao Tzu! Chao Tzu! See you in X3, asshole. Spent all this time trying to run around and hope oh, your right armor's dead. It's dead, and he's still punching at it. It's like he's making sure it is. And this guy is. I'll get you next time. You. <laughs> he won't let you get up your damn ladder. No. <laughs> this is the smartest enemy in the game. Run away! <laughs> <laughs> I bet you can't guess which Maverick we're going to be fighting right now. Cloud Man. Random homing torpedo. <laughs> It's fucking Storm Eagle. I don't know what you're talking about. All I see is an exploding robot. And will I get to use the Adukin here? You better, Johnny. <laughs> oh, no, not against him. Oh, the one guy actually it's... capable of blocking it. And he blocks it! <laughs> yep, he blocks it, and then he hits you're... you immediately after. You son of a bitch! I'm you're... gonna kill you! <laughs> you fail. <laughs> so basically, you, you, you made us all sit through a whole part of you 
going through the boring motions of getting this Hadouken, and then, when it comes time to get some significant use out of it, you fail. Will he use it this time? The suspense is gripping. <laughs> I would hope you could use it against Sparkle. I Bane. missed! <laughs> you Son of a bitch! <laughs> Ow! <laughs> you failed, Johnny. You, did, you, you missed the Hadouken again. again. Are you just now commentating on that? Why? <laughs> Seeing the Hadouken hit a boss is just about the only thing that's keeping me watching this game, and you keep on failing. <laughs> okay. Full health. Is he going to do it this time? time? Are we going to do it this time? It's against Long Talk, but it should be easy enough to hit him if you do it right at the start. And he, you don't even and have to move to dodge. A Duken! Yes! A Duken! Yes! <laughs> you finally oh, did You it. hit something <laughs> with it! You hit something yeah. with it! <laughs> it's a one good oh, kill. And we're totally not uh. ripping off Star Wars anymore by having giving him a lightsaber. Saber? No! Oh my a Duken! God. Oh. A Duken! He looks fucking ri What the fu- What the fuck? But those who sacrifice themselves for the victory will never return. Except for Zero. Uh, <laughs> the only Except one who actually- <laughs> The only one you actually see die. I, re I really wish that was put in there in parentheses. <laughs> How long will he keep on fighting? How long will his pain last? How long days, will yeah. Dr. Life be a fucking douche? Seven Maybe only days. the Exodus throw his hands and nose for sure. They got that right. The guy who'll not appear in the next seven <laughs> games. In parentheses, not dead. <laughs> Zero, also not dead. Zero, also not, <laughs> not dead. dead. <laughs> the last three are not dead. <laughs> Greetings, subscribers, and welcome to the game that took me a fucking year to record and edit. It's Mega Man X2 for the Super Nintendo. You, Dr. Light. No. Huzzah! And our new Is best going... friend, the Green Biker Dude. Dude. The greatest warrior in the Maverick Hunter <laughs> Army. <laughs> no, all huh. even Sigma cowers in the wake of Green Biker Dude. <laughs> this title is wrong. It should be called Green Biker Dude. <laughs> Green Biker Dude X6. <laughs> Game starts. At last, Green Biker Dude. We will put an end to all this madness. He'll take care of it all. <laughs> no, Green Biker Dude. No, Green Biker Dude. No! <laughs> he was our best friend. <laughs> no! This gameplay is in dedication to the Green <laughs> Biker Dude. You <laughs> will be missed by all of the Maverick Hunters. Wire sponge. What? Wire sponge. Oh. No. What the? <laughs> Who lives wire? in the forest all hot and it's bright? Wire sponge. <laughs> Maverick. <laughs> no. uh. Okay. Now for the most Irritant. tedious and repetitive boss in the game. Wheel Gator. Obviously an egotist as well. So he sinks down, you climb on the walls, and he shoots these spinning Wheel. blades. You get off the wall and avoid them. Get off the wall, shoot him once, and then the sequence repeats. Do it here. Or you can try and do a buster run and hope to get incredibly lucky that he stays above the water. Yeah. If you actually, if you take too long to hit him when he surfaces, Prepare he will stay forward. above for a little Prepare bit. Fast forward. Fast, fast forward. forward. Fast forward. forwarding, sir. sir. <laughs> you finally, put space balls in this. Yes. It's no longer quoting it. We're actually putting fucking clips in there. <laughs> Yeah, you know what? This is even less interesting than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> hey, he did a different attack. And now he's dead. Introducing yeah. Jumping Bean Man. <laughs> the secret 10th robot master of Mega Man 12. Because we know there's going to be a 12. They're going to go even more retro and make it 2-bit. <laughs> it's two blocks Atari, on screen just bouncing against each other. <laughs> Yes, hence jumping, okay. Bean Man. You're not going to see any of the X Hunter fights except for the mandatory ones in the Sigma stages. Spoiler and I'm going to edit. Sigma. 
Yeah, yeah spoiler alert about the last boss is Sigma. Spoiler uh, alert! Eggman has summoned another giant monster. Ah! <laughs> spoiler alert, Bowser's the final boss. Wait, wait, what do you mean he's not the final boss? Ah. Oh. <laughs> All I can say is you better not suck at X4. No, X4 is piss easy, dude. <laughs> <laughs> That's the saying, you better not suck at X4. Suck at it. <laughs> yeah, we wouldn't want to run the Storm Eagle joke into the ground in a single playthrough. <laughs> <laughs> now we're going after Flame Stag. Hmm. Well, at least they've stopped adding man to every name. <laughs> or woman, as it were. The X series file is adjective animal. <laughs> C4 go chip. chip, go! go. <laughs> You know, guys, a... wireframe is extremely unimpressive, and you should feel bad for thinking it was impressive, because it's not. I'm just saying, well, it's not You're gonna that love impressive. X3, then. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I have a question. If the X-Hunters are hunting X, why do you have to hunt them to fight them? Because they have Zero's parts. They have Zero's parts. No. You have to beat no. them over to get I parts. I mean, why are you going to find them when it should really be the other fucking way around. Shut up, that's why. <laughs> uh, X-Hunters. Uh, we'll only hunt them, though, if he just happens to be walking in our way. Uh, 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 look at that, the Cowboys lost again. X2 is not as offensive as X3. I mean, god damn it. Listen to X1 soundtrack and then listen to X3 and you'll ask, what the fuck happened to the instruments? <laughs> I mean, Jesus Christ, what the hell happened? Of course, there's not a problem with like X4, X5, and X6 who have great soundtracks. Yes, even X6. Yeah, it's, as it's bad the, as people it's call the, it. It's the only good thing about X6. It's like Sonic 06 in that regard. <laughs> yeah, they both have six in the title, too. I wonder if there's a co 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 correlation. <laughs> only one Maverick now, left. One Maverick left. Overdrive Ostrich. Overdrive Ostrich. Yep. Overdrive Ostrich. That's actually a lot funnier than what I was going to say. Oh, which oh, uh, it's like Rush Hour Duck or something. <laughs> Rush Hour Duck? Rush Hour Duck. Overdrive. Ostrich. Oh, it's Paul's screen. Ostrich! Your feet are dead. <laughs> <laughs> Your lower half is exploding. Exploding. Logically, the top half should fall down after all this is done. Oh, no. Yeah, if you, if you just manage to if you manage to place a, a silk a charged silk shot, you can actually kill the robot that uh, closes the walls, making this section a hell of a lot easier. You're being lazy and cheating your way through it. Fuck you! I'm being smart. You're being lazy. A true game player doesn't need a puss out. <laughs> You're not Green Biker, dude. You're just Mega Man X. <laughs> You're just Mega Man X. Green, totally a pussy. Green Biker, dude, would be done with the stage by now. <laughs> Just go. God, I don't even know why the Green Biker Dude adopted me. <laughs> You're not worth Green Biker Dude's attention. You oh, God pussy. damn it. <laughs> Green Biker Dude would have done it on the first try. Hey. <laughs> With one button press. <laughs> don't Should. be surprised if you fuck up a lot. Should. Then you go slide into here. here. Fuck you, Dr. Light. Like, fuck you. Seriously. Wow, why are they I'm all in the enemy? I'm not worthy. <laughs> The fan oh, of <laughs> Don't get hit before you can show sure you can, please. <laughs> <laughs> and now we have Agile, who's looked completely different than what he did before. Oh, so. you can. <laughs> Dead. <laughs> <laughs> you land on, Spike. land on spikes. Wait a minute, am I on spikes? <laughs> we have Sigma, Sigma Stage 4, which is the Boss Rush Stage. Yay! These are always exciting to commentate over. This is why yes, I indeed. did this. You know, to be ironic, you should have used Guile. <laughs> <laughs> Dead. 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 <laughs> Oh, this is much more satisfying than the Hadouk. Oh, that one took two hits. Lame. Shoryuken. No. Shoryuken. Nut punch, bitch. 
Do you think much fish? And I can't throw you can bubble crap with a life of me. Dead. I can see that. Oh, yeah. Dead. <laughs> No. Well, he doesn't feel the fire around the fist. That's the actual fist. But now we have the final boss of the game, Sigma. What a, what a twist! <laughs> Is it just me, or does Sigma look a bit cheesier than he did in Mega Man X? Or you can, bitch. <laughs> bitch. And then one of his attacks that he does when he's turning red, and obviously he does turn red when he's losing all of his health, uh, he, he traps X. <laughs> no, tiger uppercut, bitches. <laughs> yum, 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 yum. <laughs> X1 better. Now on to know. X3. Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. It's time for Mega Man X3. Aren't you so excited, Johnny? An X game where nothing happens. No, yeah. stuff happens, it's just not important. It's completely irrelevant to the main plot. Nothing happens. It also has one of the worst villain names ever, Dr. Doppler. <laughs> What's he going to do? Predict that it's going to rain on us? <laughs> oh no, I shall rust! Speaking of Zero, I've always wondered, why does he have glowing nipples? Like, big green orb nipples? <laughs> Blame Kenshi and Afune. Yeah. <laughs> and Dr. Wily. Yeah, and Dr. Uh, no, we, we, we don't know. What are you talking about? No, obviously Dr. Wily did not uh, make Zero. There is no proof of that. Uh, Mac, what are you doing? I trusted you! You were our best friend from... <laughs> <laughs> Remember the 21 XDX Christmas party, Mac? Remember it? I got you off drugs, Mac, and this is how you repay me? You know, for, so much, for someone who destroyed Sigma twice so far, I went down pretty fucking easily. Wow. And our first stage is... Billzard Biffalo the Seventh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's called. We keep referring to him as Billzard Buffalo because in the uh, PlayStation uh, version, when they have the anime intro, his name is spelt wrong. Like it's spelt right here in the Super Nintendo intro, but in the actual PlayStation intro, it's Billzard Buffalo. How do they mess that up? Japanese company spelled it Japan. No, that they got it right the first time and fucked it up the second time. <laughs> I don't Magic? get that. <laughs> uh, it, impl it implies it's a massive rush job, like they animated it and they were just like, okay, finish it now. Don't read it, just finish it. <laughs> no time for spell check. <laughs> no time to waste. <laughs> what is spell check? Now I'm imagining the anime intro, but after, uh, but once you get to the part where it says Bills are Buffalo, you just see the little red Microsoft Word line, a squiggly <laughs> line underneath. <laughs> <laughs> Wackly and Faley, I don't know what I'm saying. Wacky waving inflatable arm flailing jellyfish man. Wacky waving inflatable arm flailing jellyfish man. Like we just don't yeah. care. Dr. Doppler, hmm, my weather forecasting machine isn't seem to be working right now. Highs are in the low 40s. <laughs> and this area of low pressure will bring rain. Not that I actually have to be right. My hail is not slowing down Mega Man X. Why? And if you would stop staring at my shoulders for one second, humidity gets through the fucking roof. <laughs> oh, Same no. Way Serious, Serious Maverick. Maverick. Whoever could it be? Serious Maverick. Not, it's not two words. It's one word. So yeah, it's Mysterious one word, Maverick. yeah. <laughs> so, Mysterious Maverick. Um, I wonder who I'm, it could be. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say they're giving a blast to the past, and I'm going to say it's base. You know what? I'm going to put down five bucks on Green Biker Dude. <laughs> well, why would he be against us? Oh, well, it kind of left him to die. Not our fault he sucks at driving. <laughs> this, uh, robot's got a very... <laughs> I, I don't know, what would you say? A very sexual form of attack? <laughs> <laughs> well, all, I think he's all we're doing is keeping him from getting, uh, keeping him from having in intercourse with the door. <laughs> 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 that seems to be 
his only motivation right now. Actually. There's another thing. All right, you know, just another moment that I just the reason why I hate X3 so much. A lot of the bosses have the same fucking pattern. They also yeah. have insane amounts of invulnerability frames. Yeah, yeah. It's like the boss rush. You it really becomes obvious how bad the strategies are when they just do the same kind of charging motion. Like, oh, I'm gonna go left. Oh, that didn't work. I'm gonna go right. Oh, that didn't work. I'm gonna go left again. Oh, let me try the right strategy again. Maybe I should stop and actually swing with my drill. Oh, no, I'm gonna try the left strategy again. And the right, <laughs> left, then the right, then the left, then the right. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> Gotta give him a little bit of credit. You are having your arm sneeze on him. <laughs> Remember when this uh, tank used to be threatening at the beginning of X1? I was say, he has to realize this is a downgrade from his first appearance. <laughs> Remember when he was, like, unbeatable and shit? <laughs> and now he's just pathetic? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this isn't repetitive at all. And he just falls. <laughs> he, he, he just <laughs> die like Mario? <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, you lost one of Vile's lives. <laughs> Don't worry, he's got one more, though. Oh, oh, Maverick, go to the left. Go to the right. <laughs> oh, let me try going to the right this time. Oh, no, they didn't do anything either. I think I did try, I think my buddy's trying to tell me something about this, True, I'm not exactly sure. Maybe I didn't get the memo. Oh, yeah, it doesn't fucking work! <laughs> And now he becomes even more pathetically easy, because after you take more than half of his health away, he now stands in the center of the stage and does this one attack, which you can cancel out immediately with another drill to the ass. Let's try jumping. Nope, that didn't work. Let's try jumping. Oh, that didn't work. Let's try jumping. He's copying E-Honda's body slam. <laughs> That's actually one thing I never really considered doing in X games was a Buster-only run. The only one I ever came closest to was X1. You know, because... You know, again, I've I played X1 millions and millions of times. I love that game to death. But I don't know, there's just something satisfying about owning a Maverick with its weakness. Well, it's mostly the they're really hard without it, and then you own it with the weakness, and they go down in three seconds. No, Storm yeah. Eagle's still pathetically easy. And you still almost <laughs> lost to him. <laughs> almost, my friend. You were there is almost. You, on the other hand, I do oh, man. May oh, I remind okay. you? Well, Johnny, I, only, I only way. had one HP left, left of hell. Okay. Wait, hold on, Johnny. Let's put it in this uh, perspective. You took more damage to Storm Eagle than Ryan took to Toad Man. I was just on my got by Toad Man. I had only one hit left. Let go back and watch the Mega Man Four playthrough. <laughs> you see Toad Man's predictable pattern. It was simple. Just slide under oh, him. Oh, and Storm Eagle isn't under him and shoot. Slide under him and shoot. Slide under him and shoot. Storm and Eagle dash and shoot. Dash and shoot. <laughs> And you still almost died to him when you have full health. It, there's a lot more variability than Toad Man. Well, yeah, but you... This will never end. <laughs> Storm, Eagle. Storm Eagle and Toad Man will never go away. You will always be hounded by those defeats. Well, or at least the lack of defeat. Why don't we have Storm Eagle and Toad Man duke it out, and then whoever wins, the other person is <laughs> like... Ryan and John still lose. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I think the only thing worse than, di uh, than dying to Toad Man or Storm Eagle is probably dying to Spring Man. <laughs> Don't worry, that doesn't happen. He's saying this as he's deleting the old Ross. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just edit that out there. Genius, Ryan. He, he just spontaneously combusted. I yeah. defeated him. Don't worry. <laughs> Fun trivia, this song is a remix of My Michelle from Guns N' Roses. What? <laughs> Yeah, Neon so the Tiger's were... theme song is, uh, you ever heard the song My Michelle from Guns N' Roses? I've Listen heard to of it. Because it's exactly the same as this. In all honesty, I don't even remember Bit and Bite. No, no how can this, uh, wait, wait, was that a fucking typo? <laughs> <laughs> In Mega Man? No. <laughs> Base, why you no understand? <laughs> Wiley, I gonna do what I should have done. <laughs> my plan has failed with a D. You, you mean my plan is valid? Valid. <laughs> I really couldn't tell you. So it's like it's. Oh, uh, but it's I see that falcon. I see the falcon armor. I know it's there, and I gotta go get it now. Come on, you son of a bitch! I'm going to get you. Can't you just use the double jump from launching off of the I wall could, there? I, but I'm not doing that now. And you know what? I, I'm, I'm definitely... I'm not, I'm not feeling this. I'm, I'm, I'm taking way too much damage for this piece of shit that I'm not going to use. Well, I'm going to use maybe just once. 
You know, oh, I'm, like I'm taking a split second. Just getting way too much damage. Oh, I died. Okay, you know what? I'm not feeling that. Let's uh, hit the menu button. Go to load. <laughs> <laughs> you cheating Try. bastard. Okay, so those of you who just figured this out now, yes, I am using an emulator to record Mega Man X3. I do not own Mega Man X3 for the Super Nintendo, and I didn't feel like playing the PlayStation port because I didn't feel like playing the PlayStation port. <laughs> you cheating bastard. I don't give a shit. That's the idea, Johnny, that's the idea. So if you're wondering if I hate the game so much, why I've been playing it moderately well, well, it's because I'm using save states, and I cleverly edit them all out. Well, I thought I cleverly edit them all out anyway. <laughs> But you didn't. I realized when I was uploading the Rawls, I was looking at Part 4's comments, and someone was saying, wait, what the fuck was that at that certain point of time? And I was like, what are you talking about? I go to the part of time, and there's the fucking menu. I was like, oh, god damn it. <laughs> you found me out. <laughs> so, c would you be able to say that this fight is a blast? <laughs> you know, I would have respected that joke more if you made it while Blast Hornet was exploding. Damn it! <laughs> Stings, don't it? <laughs> Ouch, my feelings. Isn't this the same uh, theme that they played when we were about to go fight Vile? No. Nope. No. It sounds familiar. But again, <laughs> you're just adding fuel to the fire. That X3 soundtrack is incredibly samey and repetitive. <laughs> I swear we've heard this theme before in the game. No. I swear. Sums up the entire we have it. That's the entire sound Ted. <laughs> that's the soundtrack's uh, that's the official soundtrack's headline. I swear I've heard this before. <laughs> <laughs> you got God, that the armor looks awful. You got the maximum heat knuckle. It's yellow. <laughs> Congratulations, you get to cosplay as C3PO. <laughs> <laughs> the probability and now that this outfit will look cool is approximately 3532. <laughs> Never, Never tell me the odds. We're gonna play Simon. Oh, there's nothing that, here. Isn't that the boss room where? Oh, that's the boss you have to fight as zero, and then you get the saber thing. I forgot right? exactly what the stipulation was for getting it to appear. You have to kill zero, or you have to kill Vile. You have to kill zero? <laughs> no. <laughs> well, Mega Man X5 happens earlier than expected. <laughs> Which, it, I, I kind of thought up a theory of why Mega Man, like, is weak to the spike pits. Dr. Light, when creating Mega Man and Mega Man X, installed a button on the bottom of his foot that only a spike could go in. <laughs> it's a self-destruct button. <laughs> <laughs> what happens if he touches it on the side, though? Uh, anxiety issues. <laughs> Dave why got a spikes, though? What makes spikes more deadly than laser beams? You're underestimating the sharpness of these spikes. <laughs> so what happens if X? I, I don't. I don't think Ted's getting the point. Accidentally pokes himself with a pencil. Or wait, 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 Nathan, repeat that. I don't think Ted is getting the point. One of, the, one of these days, Ted, one of these days. Vile's mechs just get bigger and bigger. I think he's compensating for something like most Hummer owners. <laughs> That's actually, it looks like one. <laughs> vroom, vroom, beep, beep, watch out, here comes Vile. <laughs> if, the if the tank doesn't kill you, the greenhouse gases surely will. <laughs> Eat seven miles to the gallon, bitch. <laughs> For the obligatory boss rush stage. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, lots know, of crabs. I have crabs. a feeling that this is going to be a very explosive finale. Ooh. <sighs> hey, what was the what was the pun on that one? Oh, explosive. you'll see in like thirty seconds. Come on, guys, everyone with more me. explosions. <laughs> don't <laughs> guys, don't look at it. Oh my god, oh shit. <laughs> they blow things up and then walk away. <laughs> Who's got time to watch an explosion? This cool guy errands that they gotta walk to. Keep watching. Watch rush over. Keep shining. The more you ignore it, the cooler you look. Honey, Johnny, you should have just showed a picture of the map and Doppler's base. That blew up, and then the end. <laughs> <laughs> now that you've you know, kicked Doc my ass, I realized I was wrong. We should stop Sigma. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Bruce. Sigma's in this game? Oh, I like it's a fucking surprise. That's the joke. 
Hi, Sigma. <laughs> Look, I, I have a shield. America. Totally different. I have a shield. Uh, I'm not dead! <laughs> <laughs> I'll be back in five more games. <laughs> no, why wait? I think I'll show up right now. By the way, you can die during this escape. Like, you could fall into the fire, and then you have to redo the entire thing over Sorry. again. I fucking hate that. <laughs> C4 chip! Go! Wireframes! How do you like my vertical <laughs> shaft? Bonk, 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 bonk. Dun, 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 I'll lightly tap you. How does this happen? Are you annoyed yet? Are you annoyed yet? I am. We had to watch the entire game. Damn, it's a dead end. Cursing in a Super Nintendo game? Yes. Woo, 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 woo. Now the head's, like, much smaller. I'll if only there was a guy with a long ponytail who could save us right now. I'm <laughs> here to save the day. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Mega Yar! Man. I'm a character. Sigma, I'm you, Sigma, you had zero chance. Ooh. <laughs> I got one of them to laugh. Yes! Success! I'm Ted, I've been laughing at all of your attempts, but not from hilarity. <laughs> <laughs> Convenient how that fire stopped blowing up. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I'm blowing up, even though I'm a computer virus, and thus I have no physical form to blow up. Michael Bay Wait. was obviously in charge of this game. Hey Explosions look, it's awesome the exact cigars. same damn ending we had in X2. And the exact same ending we had in X1. I wonder if X is going to ponder why Reploids must fight each other. <laughs> have you played this game before? No, just guessing. <laughs> X has crushed Sigma's, Sigma's plan once again. But many questions still occupy his mind. Did I Did leave, I leave the oven on? On? <laughs> Why must humans fight against Reploids? Because of Dr. Wily. And why must Reploids fight against each other? Because of Dr. Wily. He's, he says as he cuts his wrists. <laughs> As X stares at the burning remnants of Dr. Doppler Radar's lab, his body trembles from an unknown sorrow. No, that's I just zero getting a surprise box set. <laughs> Foresight for, for a future sight of the uh, later X games. <laughs> what does fate have in store for me, he wonders. Five more games. He can only hope that someday, Dr. Light's plan for him will finally be revealed. It never will. You're gonna get killed by a guy in a pink trench coat. <laughs> Unknown to X, his destiny had already been decided. This by a guy named by KG Inafune. <laughs> to save mankind, he must destroy Z- destroy- hey, hey, spoiler warning, man! Gosh! <laughs> How do you jump to that conclusion? <laughs> but only time will tell <laughs> when and why. I don't know when I'll get the answers, or is my, or what my destiny is, or my fate. But maybe if I kill Zero, <laughs> maybe the answers will come to me. <laughs> no, oh, the answers zero. are hidden in Zero's torso. We need to kill him to take them out. And now they're playing tag with No, actually, what's <laughs> happening here is that X already attempted to take Zero's life, and Zero just won't have that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. My fellow Reploids, I ask you to gather around and ask yourselves one thing. What are we fighting for? Captain Ryan, what are we fighting for? Well, according to the Rebel Force, we are... something. <laughs> what about you, Brigadier Lewis? We're fighting for glorious PlayStation 1 FMV anime scenes. And you, Janitor Ted. J- Janitor? What? I got... I thought you said I got a promotion. <laughs> that, is a prom- that is a promotion. Damn it! <laughs> oh, God, this screen resolution. It's Dr. Wowie. <laughs> Zero, did you know where I put my keys? I lost them. <laughs> it's Eggman. It looked like Eggman. <laughs> it's like he just had this big, wide mustache and a bald head. No, it's Dr. Wily. This is Zero was created by Wily. Why, fuck me. <laughs> just like every other X game, it's, it's big, huge. menacing, <laughs> but it's pathetically easy. Yep. Like this boss team, though. Our first Maverick of the day is Huge Dragon. <laughs> its special power is it's huge, and it's a dragon, and if you beat it, you too can be huge and a dragon. This is the, the general army. This is the, yeah, the general of the Repl Force. Is a, 
pretty much a, a, a faction, of, it's a military consistent, nothing but reploids. They're fighting for the independency, even though they already have it. Yeah, like, aren't reploids basically just the same as humans? In yes. This? Yeah. They're robots with free will. It, it's sort of like a Matrix situation, but nowhere near as uh, serious. <laughs> so are they evil, question mark? They're, they're mm. just trying to... They're trying to fight for their... I don't know. What are they fighting for? <laughs> oh, I wonder who that could be. Oh, wow, they're not even trying this time. Wait, that's supposed to be Sigma's voice? Yeah. That is Sigma's voice? Yeah. Oh man, it's oh, like fuck. if Darth Vader sounded like the textbook book nerd. You are part of the Rebel Alliance and a traitor. Take her away. So yeah, I think it's pretty obvious that Sigma is once again the bad guy, and they don't even try you to hide it. You don't say! They don't even try to hide it this time. He came back twice already, why not? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, now it's time for Magma to group. He betrayed the irregular hunters and hit himself inside a volcano. Lazy translation is lazy, because in, ja in Japan they're not called Mavericks, they're called the regulars. Ah, I see. Oh, well, basically the same thing. Yeah, but they confused many of people when this came out. And spawned 36,000 fan fiction. <laughs> Who are the Irregular Hunters? They're, no, it's just a bunch of Ma Maverick Hunters that are considered a little bit odd by the rest of the team. <laughs> <laughs> like, one of them, like, one of them puts salt on his pizza, another one, um, uh, openly reads comic books. That... Yep. So this is Frost Walrus. Oh, I love that, I love that dialogue. Hey, what are you doing here? Hey, cut it out. No. Boss fight. <laughs> <laughs> 10 out of 10, best dialogue ever. Oh, god damn it. Zero saved my life. Oh, right! <laughs> I forgot what happened in the interstate. <laughs> it was so long ago. Yeah, a whole half hour. Zero, please, don't fight with my brother. If you do, I'm afraid that one of you... God, this voice acting is horrible. <laughs> <laughs> there, there's a reason it's up there with Resident Evil and some of the worst voice acting from this generation. Uh, Iris sounds like she doesn't know how to pronounce English words. Did that... Well, she's trying, she's trying to be British. <laughs> she, feeling. She, doesn't, she doesn't sound remotely British. She sounds like a two-year-old trying to sound like an adult. Yeah, a bit cyber peacock. <laughs> okay. He's That's made of internet. Oh, he's literally made of internet. I thought that was just a joke about how mimetic he is or something. <laughs> no. Um, this stage has a weird gimmick where you're lemons? basically in... Lemons? No, those are eyes. Lemons in the internet, really? You don't say. <laughs> <laughs> Depending on your rank, you get goodies. If you want to get all the goodies, you have to get a rank S. Yes, and every single one of them. So the moment it begins, you know, just dash like a madman and hurry up. Floor it. <laughs> you also can't take too many hits either. Well, mostly because that slows you down, but... Past, True. Uh, get past all the crap as fast as you can and avoid the lemons. It's just like surfing fanfiction.net. Well, not really. But for the no. sake of consistency, I want to go for triple S anyway. S S B. Super. Uh, super Smash, Smash Brothers. Brothers. Okay. Welcome to part four of the Mega Man X Four commentary. One more Maverick to go. Ooh, and I bet it's your favorite. And say it with me, everybody. It's, it's Storm, Storm and oh. Owl. <laughs> Colonel. Turtle! Died happily? <laughs> Don't self-destruct, you idiot! I was gonna haul you back to the garage and put you back together. Well, this um, is gonna be... Now I gotta make a hard cardboard cutout to full Iris. Oh, thank <laughs> god, she's not here. <laughs> oh no, we've killed Iris. Oh, it was no. an ugly suit of armor anyway. That was a fashion disaster. <laughs> now look at you. Uh, this doesn't look that bad. All we have to do is like turn you off and then fix all the problems at the shop later. You see, that's why I don't get why robots can die in this, because you can just fix them and bring them back. She's not even like externally damaged at all. What, did you want to have her face melted off or something like that? <laughs> well, even then, as long as her central har uh, hardware isn't fine, isn't broken, you can just sort of fix all the external stuff. Iris! 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 
Be careful though, you don't want to scream too loud, your mom might wake up. <laughs> All together now. Uh, <laughs> no, no, this, this isn't, isn't happening. happening. There's no reason for me to go, go on. on. What? What, 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 am what, what, am what am I fighting, fighting for? for? How's it every voice actor? I feel bad for that actor. He has to act for a video game from his bedroom at midnight. Really? <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of like us doing our commentary. Now I feel really sad, Ted. Did you have to bring that up? <laughs> My fate is sealed. I have no choice. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? He In has, fact, he has no choice. No choice. He's so resigned to that that he just no. doesn't care anymore. No, no, John. He he has, he has no choice. No choice. No choice. No choice. The X story is Sigma comes back. Stop. Yes. Oh look. Nope, 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 Okay, I don't know what the hell that was about. But, uh, yeah, Sigma time. You see, all Sigma was trying to do here was organize a really excellent Castlevania cosplay convention. But, uh, yeah, everyone thought he was trying to destroy the world again. He cosplayed as the Grim Reaper, and I'm cosplaying as the Holy Water. I thought Didn't I we already destroyed? kill you? He he he. Michael Jackson. <laughs> it... Wait, you came back just to explode again? <laughs> <laughs> oh God, it is. And then, the... uh, it and then it'll come the back arc. and explode first thing in uh, next five. <laughs> This is my fate. I couldn't save anyone after all. Oh, uh, no. uh, Zero has a really bad headache then. <laughs> Sad montage of sadness. I killed my girlfriend. <laughs> and we'll never mention her again. <laughs> nope. <laughs> <laughs> she does make an appearance in Mega Man Extreme 2, was it? But yeah, that I was think that, so. I think that was that takes place before this game. Yeah. So so Well that happened. Yep. Yeah, that was a thing. And that's the end of X4. Zero started anyway. Well, that was interesting, sort of. Producer Keiji Inafune and Bamboo. Oh, what? One of the voice acting sucks. <laughs> <laughs> I mean I know it was wooden, but that's just ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> Um, the battle was ended, but for some reason, Zero's memories of the past continue to haunt his mind. Uh huh. They really try to play up the the the, the tragic nature of the X series, and it's just like I, it's something about the storytelling. It's never really it, they've never really gotten me to care. It's hokey as fuck. Yeah. Okay, that's probably the best way to put it. Mm hmm. All right. See you guys for X Five. Eventually. Yes, your eyes are not deceiving you. We are finally going back to the Mega Man X series, ladies and gentlemen. Everybody, my experience with this game is what we're watching right now, the intro <laughs> stage. Now, I, okay, here's what I know about X5. <laughs> Sigma's a dick, X is whiny, save the world. That's why just, must am you, I wrong? Why must that, Reploids fight? That's just the X series, though. <laughs> you know, I'm not gonna lie, whenever I used to see Cygnus's name, I used to thought think he was evil because it was so close to Sigma. <laughs> a very shallow disguise, Cygnus. <laughs> <laughs> Also, isn't this, isn't the CX game where everything is named after Guns N' Roses? Yes, yep. thanks to Allison Court. She named every single Maverick after members of Guns N' Roses because of her husband's love of the band. So, so you have Claire Redfield to thank for the Guns N' Roses homage. So, wait, so, <laughs> so, so Capcom really dis just did get random people on staff to do voice acting. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> okay, the, we don't have a localization team. Someone get Claire Redfield, uh, sir. I mean, uh, Allison Court. Oh, the next part, oh boy, think. it's the best main Maverick in the history of the series. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so up next, ladies and gentlemen, Duff McWhaley. <laughs> I just can't go to it. Like, you know, give me X1, X2, Four. X4, hell, even X6. 
and I can like jump on it immediately. The X6 is for different reasons, but like X5, it's, it's like, uh, it's like it's trying to get me out of bed when I only have four hours of sleep. Like I want to sleep a little longer, please. No, Ryan, don't make me do it. <laughs> you have to get to it eventually. <laughs> You've been putting it off too long. <laughs> I know we have. Just think, John, you can record X7 after this. <laughs> well, well I got, no, I got X6. Okay, like... Yeah, that's about it. The, the different types of weapons, okay, that's one... What the hell are you oh, doing with... Oh, you use the can... <laughs> use the... Use the... Use the canceling trick. What the... The, the hell are I you... I will admit, I do like Dynamo's theme. What the hell are you doing? It looks like he's doing a little dance. <laughs> some things. Okay, well, first things first. Ride bike ready? section. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> you are not very good at these, are you? <laughs> no, here's the thing. You are given control the moment the stage begins, and there's a pit thrown right at you before the ready screen even leaves. Also, you need to get all these glowy things. Yes, yeah, so you need to get all these glowy things so you can get the light capsule. Oh, so the Here game launches go. the Enigma no matter what if you complete all four of those stages. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then Sickness, will... will you stop saying blast off? I said blast off three times. Four times. Blast off! Blast off! And that little cutscene right there where you see the laser hit the colony will actually tell you if it, if it succeeds or not. If it succeeds, the laser goes through the colony. Um, if it fails, it only, like, you know, hits the outer edge of it. But we fucked up! At the very least, they they it, they said it give it gives you more time so that you you're not completely boned if it took all. No, it doesn't. They said it it said it would change the time of. No, it, no, it doesn't. doesn't. What are are you? If you had ten hours left before collision, you still have ten hours left before collision. That text means fucking nothing. Oh, I, I, love, I love how when they were all looking concerned right there, Douglas was just like the fuck. Like I don't know, like, I, don't, I don't like what the fuck's going on over here. Time. Oh fuck this light capsule. It, it doesn't really seem like there's a lot of. Uh, like enough viruses for it to be a serious threat? No. Okay. Are we playing snake? You have to use uh, Easy Glow's weapon to guide this missile to break this wall, and it takes. You only have so ever. many shots. Yeah. And you know what? I am convinced they put those spikes there strictly for the purpose of you killing yourself just to refill your ammo. Hmm. You really do not give a shit about what uh, Doctor Light is saying either. No. Why? I don't know. He's, he's an asshole. He's an asshole. We've covered this. He could. <laughs> <laughs> I have no reason to go on. What? What am I fighting for? Top right. Hey, there's Sigma to... virus. Yeah, I'm gonna get right, you. Though. I'm gonna get you. <laughs> booga booga booga. I'm a Sigma virus. Fear me. This thing won't go away. It's kind of stare. It's kind of being kind of creepy, staring at hey. you. I'm gonna try you shooting want... it again. You want some coffee? <laughs> Yes. Maybe you decided Maverick to go with it. <laughs> you want to Mega Man Expresso? <laughs> There's no X in Espresso. <laughs> Love his little dur face when you hit him with his weakness. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe, I believe it. it. <laughs> <laughs> he hit me. Why did yeah. you just rammed into his face there? <laughs> this hey. guy just makes me think of it. Of a Charmander who's compensating for something. For a Digimon, I guess? He, like he does look kind of like a Digimon, now that I think about it. It's like, you know how Charmander has that little candle on his tail that he that can't go out, otherwise he dies. Oh, 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 this oh, This guy's oh. so insecure, he got himself 20 of them. <laughs> oh, <laughs> hold on, hold on. <laughs> Complete tangent, but in one of the movies for Smash Brothers, the villager is pouring the watering can over Charizard's tail. That would kill it. <laughs> that ruthless asshole. Well, that's why we call him the Killager. I can't believe it. He beat me. You'll see that. In it's spelled play. Axel wrong. In, ca <laughs> in case the Guns N' Roses references were not obvious enough for you. Robo Karama? <laughs> it's what? literally a stage made of Guns and Roses. <laughs> well, I know. <laughs> is this the elusive Paradise City? Well, the grass is green, but there's no women in this game, so... Axel, Axel the Red is kind of pretty. That's the only girl I know is Aelia, and maybe Zero. We sort of killed the last one in Mega Man 9, so... Uh, every time you hit him with this weakness, he always jumps twice, then he leaves himself vulnerable. Then toad Man goes. Syndrome? Uh, yeah, it's a, it's Toad a, Man. <laughs> it's a vicious cycle until the halfway point, then he changes it up a bit. After the halfway point, he will bounce once, but he'll, like, jump across the screen. But you have a dash, so it's easy to keep up with him. He, like, jumps all the way to the right... Jumps all the way to the left. Hello, Mega Man X3. One more time! I missed you. <laughs> to the left now, y'all. <laughs> Everybody clap your hands. Oh, God, I have nightmares I... about that song. But I, I have a cannon for an arm! Like... 
All right, got all four pieces for the space shuttle. Now we're going to Douglas what? <laughs> no, nobody okay. cares. <laughs> so now we get to find out whether or not we actually get a good ending. So, Cygnus, you're going to you're going to pilot it, right? Fuck no. <laughs> Why is Zero the only one who's going to pilot it? Because apparently he's the only capable pilot. Because he's the only one who does shit. No, he, he see the future. I got to get out of here. <laughs> I'll pilot! Yeah, he's literally the only competent person in this entire group. X tries. <laughs> Until he whines about how people shouldn't fight each other. <laughs> Violence. So, so this is the part where Batman climbs into the giant robot and flies off into the asteroid. <laughs> yeah, right? to stop that kryptonite meteor. <sighs> and the space shuttle failed! Wait, what? Yep. Bad ending. I got real shit luck in this playthrough. So did you just stick with the bad See, ending? This doesn't even look worried. Neither does Douglas. <laughs> Douglas is still wondering if he left the fucking oven on. Cygnus <laughs> <laughs> is trying to figure out where he left his wallet. <laughs> uh, whatever. I mean, I, I reset the game like five times. Shuttle fails all the time. I think it's fixed at this point. So... Hey, okay. <laughs> Thanks for making my uh, journey kind of meaningless there when I was trying to go for the good ending. So now you can't pick Zero. Oh, man, you're screwed uh, then. If you were using Zero mostly up to this point, and the... X and is the, a weakling. <laughs> and X has and X has nothing for hearts or anything like that. You're, you're, you're shit out of luck. And apparently, from what I've seen of this game, the later parts get pretty hard. So, uh, are we going to wake him up inside? No. He can't wake up. He can't wake up. What was this like? Kill me now. <laughs> Please get me out of here. It's a series full of music references. How can you not have music puns? Yeah, that's a good point. Get the... Yeah, you can still play as your Okay, but he's only... <laughs> what the fuck is this music? It's the Odd Couple theme. Why right, the so, Odd Couple theme? And how did you walk know, because, on spikes? <laughs> well, well, X and Zero are quite an Odd Couple. Yeah. <laughs> does, does the Gaia armor allow you to walk yeah. on spikes? Yeah, Gaia yeah. armor allows you to walk on spikes. Your movement is not very fast while on it, and your your buster shot doesn't travel the entire screen. Do, do, do wall and ceiling spikes still hurt? No. Yes. Yeah. Oh, no. So oh. I thought guy, you meant in general. Yeah, you can wall jump off of spikes right here. Okay. So, with the addition of the, the spike imperviousness it's like the power armor from Mega Man 6 in a way kind yeah. Of, yeah let me tell you, you the can, true you can also push blocks with let it. me tell you let me tell you the true purpose of the Gaia armor to get the other heart containers that's fucking it because it sucks everywhere else yeah you're not using it to actually play the game and you can't oh, and you can't change armor in between in during the level it's just at the start of the level nope yeah, just to start a level I mean the Sigma stages are broken up in the four segments so you can exit and leave anytime you want but it's like, never use the guy armor for everything else, because it's, you know, the... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I always, yeah, but I always did the lasers legitimately, and then used the... Farm. Oh, they're a lot more manageable in Mega Man 2, and X5, you can barely see them, until it's too late. Like that. <laughs> like that, and that. Oh, they shoot up and down now. Time hold. <laughs> oh. Hmm. Wait, hold on, is this the boss I think it is? Oh, boy. Oh, they they play the, the Mega Man, Mega Man 1, 1 boss. Mega Man 1 music. Yeah. Oh, God. Because this is something we needed in the fucking X series, a devil monster. With the Wily logo blurred in the background. Yeah. This is the Shadow Devil, folks. And uh, a lot of people say this is the hardest devil fight in the entire series. Really? And I agree, if only because he's not one-to-one -one the Yellow Devil. I mean, this part clearly is. But you see that green outline over there? You can't touch that outline, which limits your space heavily on where, how you can avoid the little goo. Also, his eye appears randomly on his body. Yeah. So you can't just preemptively aim for the middle spot. And then in the second half of this fight is when he starts getting more random with what kind of attacks he does, because here's right now is the basic strategy. You know, he he melts, and then he transfers his body over to the second half, and then you gotta you know, dodge projectiles, as you usually did in Mega Man 1. It is near impossible to avoid shit in this stage. If you can do this without getting hit, no, no damage, kudos. You are a fucking ex-god. <laughs> But bring your E-Tanks and pray, <laughs> because... It looks like that kind of fight, yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh okay. Uh, and, why, wait, what? Yeah. Wily Machine. Turn into a clothes iron. 
Yeah. He's, no. turned into <laughs> he's a wily machine. machine. He's wily machine number six from Mega Man Six. And this is where the fight gets a lot easier because you know he he just hops around like an idiot. He hops around, exposes the eye, shoot him out. Yeah, there that looked a lot easier to dodge. Uh, I mean, it yeah. probably hey, does... just like just like wily machine six. It probably does more damage, granted, but you know. Um... If you wanted to be a threat, dark <laughs> king, dark devil, you should have turned into wily capsule seven. Yeah. Oh fuck that, dude. Gaia armor blows. And you want to know why? Because you can't even. I don't even think you can use. You can't even use um special weapons in Gaia armor. You oh. just have your pea shooter. You just have your. You have your buster. But isn't that a small price to pay for finally being able to defeat Spiked Wallman? <laughs> <laughs> it's at not what, worth it. At what cost? Time to get... This this cutscene's bullshit. The why is X on the ground? We didn't get touched. This cutscene angers the fuck out of me, because. Alright, Zero snaps out of it just in time to take X's fatal shot. Zero dies here. And Sigma does not capitalize on this. Yeah, he caught X is still X is X. still down for the X is still down for the count. Zero's dead, and then Sigma says, I'll get you next time, X. I'll be waiting for you, buddy. And then he just leaves. <laughs> the fuck? Sigma, you're a dumbass. <laughs> Alright, homage X5. I this wasn't the, the only X. Oh, you'll never guess what's in this pot. Oh god. Boss Rush! Fuck. Fuck this! <laughs> <laughs> and then I Nova strikes the boss rush. Let's move on. John, you can't just Nova strike all your problems, okay? <laughs> Fuck you, I will. The Nova strike. The cause and solution to all of X's problems. John. Teleporting around like fucking Dracula or something. What is a Reploid? A miserable little pile of wankst. <laughs> <laughs> but enough talk! Bitch! <laughs> Why must X and Sigma fight? Wait. <laughs> oh, my ears. Man. Holy fucking Christ. Ugly so... 3D models. That is Five Nights at Freddy Tears. Uh, uh, <laughs> I thought it was I, I thought it was supposed to be like claymation for a second. <laughs> so this is our final homage. I think this is supposed to be an homage to Gamma from Mega Man 3. So do we top spin uh, into it? No, we don't top spin. We don't have a top spin. <laughs> we do have a Nova Strike, though, because fuck this fight. Yeah, his one weakness is his little jewel. This is his little forehead jewel there. So hit that with a uh, spike ball. That's his weakness. Or you got the ultimate armor. Just Nova Strike that shit away, which ends up being my strategy here because I am so tired at this point. I want to move on. <laughs> Gwah! <laughs> Darn! <laughs> Why didn't I kill you on the floor? I'm Who's angry, but not angry enough to swear. <laughs> hey, you killed me, and that's okay. They say damn back in the first Mega Man X, though. Like, I'm angry, but I have a smile on my face. <laughs> <laughs> Hasn't uh, Sigma had multiple like chances throughout the X series to kill X? Oh no, if Sigma knew what he was doing, he would have won like three games ago. But nah. <laughs> oh, he's only level 96. He didn't finish grinding all the way. I mean, come on, you're that close. You know what would have gave you those extra three levels? If you shot me while I was down. <laughs> Ow! By everything. <laughs> Doctor Light, you're not a ghost. You're a program. <laughs> I can't feel my legs or That's my arms. Think of that. That's because they're not there. <laughs> oh, all right. So this is the bad ending where Zero dies and X's memory is wiped. He no longer knows Zero and any attempt to make a reminder of him Zero is immediately deleted. His memory is wiped to Zero. Can't remember a damn thing. And that's all she wrote. I mean, if this if X5 was really supposed to be the last game, then I guess it really wouldn't really matter what ending there was, because Zero dies regardless. But this is tr the more sad ending, because uh, Mega Man doesn't honor Zero's memory or whatever. Although, yeah, yeah so... Douglas! Turn the fucking oven off! <laughs> Man, video, XXX. That was a video game. You shot things, yeah, and they blew up. <laughs> Planner Akiteru? Akiteru? <laughs> I'm not sure. It gets worse from here, folks. It gets worse from here, folks. It gets worse from here, folks. Aren't 
Aren't you guys excited? No, of course you're fucking not. Because this is one of the most infamous Mega Man games in existence. I still say this is the worst Mega Man game I've ever played. There, and you're damn right, we got comment <laughs> for this commentary, ladies and gentlemen. A lot of you were asking whether or not it'd be possible. It was like, let's go, let's go ask. And yes, he, he, it was, he was almost looking forward to this. A sequel released uh, barely over a year after X5. Uh, what was it? Behind the back of Inafune? Because yeah. he was still conceptualizing the Zero series. And they made this game for a quick buck. It utilizes pretty much everything X5 introduced. And yeah, this is a... A lot of people don't like this game. (laughs) I will go on and say that I don't think it's as bad as people make it out to be. But as this commentary and playthrough will show you, it has problems. And we're going to get into them for this six-part playthrough. So who's ready? You guys ready? Uh, no, no, let's start over. <laughs> okay, let's, I, I, I agree. <laughs> let's go back to X1. <laughs> hey, no, we, we can start with Maverick Hunter X. Can we talk about localization for a second here? Oh, God. <laughs> this, is the, this, this is the most not proofread Mega Man game I've ever seen in my life. Due to a strong jamming. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Have you have you played any of the Battle Network games, uh, dude? Because I've seen some of the typos. You know, typos and grammatical errors are one thing, and X6 has that in spades. But, you know, localization is also a, a, a thing you do to, you know, paraphrase or summarize what they're saying shorthand, basically. This uh-huh. feels like a direct, literal translation of the Japanese yeah. dialogue. And it's awkward as fuck, and makes cutscenes go on for fucking ever. I remember at one point, Zero t- talks to Isoc, and he, instead of saying, what's so funny is what is what the line should be, he goes, what makes you laugh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah. the guy's chuckling, and then Zero goes, what makes you laugh? And then when you beat Nightmare Zero, you unlock the real Zero, who suddenly appears out of fucking nowhere. So you could go through the whole game if you don't find these alternate pathways and never save Zero, then? No. Well, Zero is saved regardless, because if you go to the entire game without recruiting Zero, Zero appears at the end of the game, like, out of nowhere, saying, like, oh, I guess he didn't need my help after all. It's like, I hid and repaired myself for nothing. (laughs) (laughs) And speaking of that, this is the most infamous line ever, because they, they don't... What happened to Zero? Zero was killed by Sigma... I hid myself while I tried to repair myself. Well, I mean, granted, he's a robot. You can't just fix him. Did you see what was left of him? <laughs> you could, like, his brain was still there. You could have made new zero legs or something. I, I don't know. He's a robot. You can fix him. <laughs> have Dr. Kane do it. But he's he not fixed doing himself, apparently. Oh, I closed man. my eyes and I believed X. Why would he hide himself to repair himself? Why wouldn't he let the Reploids pick him up and fix him himself? How did he hide himself? He was nothing <laughs> but a torso and arm. Zero. Zero. I'm glad to see you again. <laughs> oh, Dr. Light, you found your glasses. I'm so happy. <laughs> but Zero's follow-up line was even better. Zero's follow-up line was even better because he goes, I will never die. <laughs> Uh. And by the way, Zero kind of gives Dr. Light a different answer here. He tells X that he hit himself to repair himself, and in this, he implies, like, I don't know. I, I just woke up like this, I guess. <laughs> well, I think yeah, about I that, that poor Reploid there, though. He was just sitting there like, thanks for saving me. Oh, you're going to have a conversation So, <laughs> so it, it, he, Zero's like Gandalf. He, he should have died, but he, his job wasn't done, <laughs> so he was sent back. <laughs> he became Zero the White, yes. No, he's Zero, Zero the, the Black. Zero the Black. <laughs> Zero the Black. <laughs> Hey, look at that. You know, we're scraping the bottom of the barrel for Maverick designs when we have to use fucking dung beetles now. <laughs> Even the bosses go. are pushing around yeah. shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just since we are talking post-apocalypse garbage duty, though, a, a dung beetle does sort of make sense as a Maverick in this game. Yeah, but who you... made the dung beetle robot, and what were they thinking <laughs> when they made it? Yeah, that was made before Eurasia. <laughs> I want to give robots free will, but I also uh, want them to resemble dun beetles. Yeah. <laughs> but and you know, if if I was a robot that was fashioned to to uh, in in the shape of a dung beetle, I'd probably rebel too. Eh, it's a living. <laughs> Hang on. Uh, What's up? Are there actual lumps of shit in this level? I don't. No, no, no. Those, that, that's no, <laughs> no. That's 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 part of the nightmare effects. 
that the brown is stuff. Gr- yes. Yeah, they're like random boulders. But you weren't. It, it wasn't there. a red level. It was a. Normal I know, level. right? <laughs> it's almost like the game ignores that. <laughs> I, I, I don't get the nightmare mechanic. Like I did. I, I looked up research and. Yeah. I see what they were going for. They were trying to replicate the X1 effect where, depending on what Maverick you defeated, it changed the next stage you played. You know, like how if you destroyed Storm Eagle, you know, Spark Mandrill's power would go out in his stage and other shit like that. But in X6, First whatever. Off, none of the nightmare effects are good. Like, all of them are so annoying to the point that they make every single level a pain in the ass. Like, this is just has falling shit out of nowhere. And, like, when you're trying to dodge, like, the preset enemies with their patterns and the spikes and all that stuff, while lumps of shit are just falling on you out of nowhere, <laughs> it's, uh, it's so everywhere. fucking annoying. <laughs> and, and, but that's not even the worst of it, because, like, later when you get to, like, the fireballs in Blizzard Wolfang stage and the darkness in Rainy Turtleoid and all that stuff, it is so friggin' annoying to play. None of these levels just compare to, like, X4 or X5 once those effects start kicking in. And and that's what it is. Like, this game, as I've heard a lot of people say, is not so much completely awful, but just really fucking irritating. Yeah. And it just builds and builds and builds until you just can't take it anymore. Or if you're like me, you cheat. (laughs) You activate the Black Zero. So you guys ready for the final countdown? It's the final (laughs) countdown! Infinity (laughs) Mission. It is the final countdown. Infinity (laughs) Mizunion. What is what the fuck is a (laughs) Mizunion? It's kind of like the Japanese version of. uh, of like Super Saiyan, <laughs> except uh, Super Saiyan. Instead of affinity, instead of affinity minion, it's Infinity Majinian. <laughs> and then there's Infinity Majinian Gosh and uh, Infinity Majinian Blue. So in the Malaysian dub, it's Infinity Maya people. Yeah, yeah I was about to. <laughs> <make that> joke. <laughs> and, and then there's the uh, then there's the the name that causes uh, Mega Man X to bite his tongue: Infinity Majinian Gosh, Infinity Majinian. So. <laughs> And speaking of bosses, how they shouldn't be designed and how they're bullshit. Is, Welcome like, to the worst stage in the whole fucking game. This is Blaze Heatnik's stage. And you saw that, that red donut thing with the green orbs that homing shoot at you? Like, they shoot where you are, so you always have to constantly be moving. You just beat it once, and we're probably going to be fighting it, oh, five more times in this friggin' fucking stage. I and thought that Rainy Tur- Turtleoid was the worst stage in the game. The, there are, there are, th- th- granted, there, there, are, there, are, there are a lot of candidates for worst <laughs> stages in the game. They're all terrible because like, this game Kale- is you, terrible. You, Kale- you say Blaze Hitnix, I will, I will, I will, I, I see your Blaze H- Hitnix and, and bet a uh, Metal Shark player, personally, for Oh, that me. stage sucks, too. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, you fight this thing so many goddamn times, and, you know, it's constantly, it, it moves in a set pattern, but it's constantly shooting projectiles at you. Uh, well, in normal and extreme difficulty, in easy mode, it doesn't shoot at you at all. It just moves around. Yeah. But in uh, with Zero, you want to use the, the screen nuke that you get from Infinity Maginion. Oh, because God, that's that the explosion only explosion was big. You, you, that's the <laughs> only way you're going to have a comfortable time fighting these things multiple times. Just hit R2, and there you go. You, you get a, a rid of a lot of health with that one shot. Now, the purpose of rank in this game is to equip more parts or more upgrades that you get from rescuing hostages. So, if you want to have, like, a Z-Saber plus one and a shock buffer... So, and... wait, hold on a moment. We're trying to save the world. Oh, but we're not... We're not... We're not funky fresh <laughs> enough to equip... Sorry, sorry, Zero, you're not you're not authorized to use the Z-Saber plus. <laughs> but Zero is the best one you have. <laughs> the heroes who single-handedly took down Sigma are a B-class, yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Indicator. That ah, I knew it. <laughs> Wait, God. <laughs> yeah. It, it might I as have, well be random. I have never played Rainy Toil or Sage where there wasn't darkness. What if you did it first? It, <laughs> it was, I don't know. And people paying attention to this video, when he selected the stage, was it red? Because it wasn't. <laughs> no. God. This, it, it, I've always had it. I always had the dark nightmare. 
in Rain to our lower stage. I fucking hate it. You can't see shit. I mean, that's the point of the the nightmare effect. I get it, but it doesn't mean I have to like it. It's like oh, this is fun and challenging. No, it's fucking annoying. I hate it. Well, it would. Be, I, I think it might be a little bit better if you had like that uh, that little like tiny circle of dark around, you, like of light around you that like Metroid does in in dark areas or something. There are instant kill spikes here, Ted. Oh. Okay, and bottomless mind. pits! That's, that's... Bottomless pits, insta-kill spikes, and things will shoot you from off-screen, uh, and you can't see them. Okay, and never mind, it sucks. It sucks. And <laughs> apparently our hostage for today is Tara Branford. Wonderful. Yes, and multiple <laughs> Tara Branfords. And the... Oh, that's another thing! You can't fucking see the hostages when it's dark! And with this stage in particular, some, some people will tell you, oh, just take it slowly, take it slowly, because, you know, if you keep rushing into things, of course you're going to take damage in a dark area. You have acid rain that is draining your health. If you take it slowly, you're going to die eventually. And this is with Black Zero, <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah. I'm taking all this chip damage and all the acid rain damage. I'm at half my health. And that's with Black Zero. If I was normal Zero, I'd be dead by now. Not to mention that since it's uh, since it's hostage. dark, like if a if a hostage was getting captured by a could get captured by a nightmare thing, and you wouldn't even notice. I could imagine. No, no, you, no, you wouldn't notice. Look at that. Well, who puts a hostage there? <laughs> that's so fucking obnoxious. Who puts placed. a hostage there? I don't know. A hostage taker. They're taking. <laughs> To make it inconvenient <laughs> for you, John. It's not like. Well, oh. then just kill the fucker already! <laughs> they don't get There's their no reason, reason to be there! <laughs> the hostage isn't any good to them dead. Gosh, John, it's like you haven't taken it. Why are they just floating them? here? <laughs> the nightmare only cares about extending its numbers. It's like primal tempering. They just want to increase. So this guy is tall, super huge. That means he's one of the easier Mavericks, right? Uh, yeah, actually. <laughs> yeah, that's a common that's a common theme with Mega Man bosses, actually. The bigger they are, the easier they are. Oh, well, uh, why yeah. could, could you just like hide out in the wolf uh, alcoves there? You because then you get blocked. Yeah, but then you get blocked. Uh, and then can you, you break them with like over. your with your Z no. saber? No. Oh, but they're, they're just ice. You can break robots with your Z saber. <laughs> The hole where the hostages also gets a nice block in there, so you'll take damage until you eventually die. Oh, okay. That's stupid. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> yes, it is. Ted's tagline for X6 in the back of the PlayStation case. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's stupid. Whether you play the level first when there's no Nightmare of Oh! <laughs> <laughs> what did you do? You picked something else. And then you cut. Uh, yeah, yeah, so that was a nightmare effect over Metal Shark Player, the last Maverick I have yet to fight. Fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that. I will tell you why when we actually get to Metal Shark Player. Anyway, so this the, the alternate route of Infinity Maginia Stage has a shitload of hostages to rescue, which you will most likely fail f ugh, so many times in zero. You want to know why? <laughs> because you, in order to grab onto these ropes here, you have to hold up on the D-pad. May I remind you that there are a lot of nightmares here, and one of Zero's special moves is up an attack. And yeah. what kind of attack is it? You head straight fucking down, and you can't stop until you <laughs> hit the ground. So you activate it so many goddamn times while trying to rescue hostages. Like, there's a reason they give you 10 around that area, because they know you're going to accidentally activate that attack and kill yourself. Fuck that part, man. Not play the game and get all the hostages so you can get the heart tanks and the life ups so that you'll be a lot better prepared for it. Oh, I see eyes like this, the hee hee hee. What <laughs> makes you laugh? <laughs> yeah. You know, it, it, we're just one step away from fucking Sega Genesis Zero Wing. Yeah. Or, spe or speed eraser. It's like, ah, ha, ha, what you say? <laughs> you like, have no chance to survive. Make your time. <laughs> make your time, zero. <laughs> they have set us up the bomb. But, <laughs> they have set up us the high max. <laughs> this cutscene also has the problem what I was talking about earlier with this straight, literal, local uh, like, translation. Because I think they say the exact same fucking thing twice in a row here when this force field is brought up to question. Like, I think Alias says, like, it appears to be a force field that releases after a certain amount of time, and then Zero says something, and then I think Alias says the exact same fucking thing in, in, in a different way right after that. See, right here, it seems to take time to release it, and then, you know, can you move if it isn't released? No, I can't! <laughs> isn't that pretty fucking obvious? Naughty! <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, oh, the force field, it... Seems to have timing device. You just fucking said that like two sentences ago. Come on. Nobody uh, cares, Alia. Man, this wording is so awkward. Yeah, it's horrible. <laughs>
<laughs> okay, you want to no. know? Okay. No, that's Mokuba. Sorry. I'm going... Okay, here's the thing. This guy is called Metal Shark Player. A few things. He's a robot. All robots are made out of uh, metal. Second metal. off, Shark Player? What? Does he play with sharks? No, he clearly <laughs> is a shark. So his name is stupid. He should just be called Shark. And I'm going to call him <laughs> as such. <laughs> metal Shark, maybe. It also extends your jump length, so it's pretty good for crossing large chasms. So, there was a hostage under the crusher. Would yes, it just... it's absolutely fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but if he touches one weird, dangly-looking robot, oh no, now he's possessed, and we, we just, now we just have to, we just have to let him be, like, you know, yeah. no way we can reprogram him, because he's a robot, right he's a robot, you can fix him. <laughs> What happened right there was bullshit. He needed to go through, and there's a, a nightmare creature that he slashes through first, and then there's another one in the hallway. So what happens is, if you stop to attack that guy, you're going to get crushed by the thing, because you're taking Ooh. time to stop and hit him. And you have to take a hit. Like, you have to in, you have to just, like, take damage, run into him, and then bypass him, because if you don't, you're just going to die. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so I noticed that some of these crushers have spikes on them because, you know, like... You know, just in case. <laughs> no kill like overkill. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you see, these crushers are already instant death, but we need to make them even more instant death. Like, yeah. so I'm going to put yeah. spikes on Light them on, on fire. Them. <laughs> Metal Shark Player is kind of interesting in that he can resurrect dead Mavericks from previous games to attack you with. Uh, not that they actually have a health bar or anything, it's just he'll summon, like, Sting Chameleon, and Sting Chameleon will shoot something at you, and... And that's pretty much it. But like, yeah. I, it's interesting to me be, that he has that characteristic because they go out of their way not to explain how Zero came back from the dead, and yet we have a robot who, who whose entire gimmick is that he brings robots back from the dead, and they don't just say, "Oh, Metal Shark Player brought Zero back," because that's what Gate wanted. Like that would have been the yeah. easiest plot solution right there. Why can't they just rebuild them? They're robots. Uh, <laughs> normally, stage one of like Final Fortresses. Don't throw everything in the kitchen sink at you at once. You know, and, you know. In, in terms of storyline, you know, Gate knows what he's doing. Like he's throwing everything at you, and that's great for a villain. But bottom line, when it comes to a game that you play and you want to beat, it's fucking infuriating. There's a reason uh, Spike Wallman is a joke because nobody's serious <laughs> about it. <laughs> and Gate are clearly I in the same room. I could now create perfect and the strongest, and the strongest rep rep points. Points. Yes. <laughs> God. There's rid- like a single pixel that Zero can stand it on. It looks like you're just yeah. standing on the side of the spike, which, to be fair, I've been wondering why they can't touch the side of the spikes for years now. Sonic, Sonic can, can do, do it. it. <laughs> so. <laughs> <laughs> See, the winner of the Sonic Mega Man crossover was decided from the very beginning. Sonic <laughs> can stand on spikes. Well, the side of spikes, anyway. Oh, hi again. Hey, I'm Max. How Did you, you like fighting me? Because we can fight again. Die original one? Because he has a zero DNA. That's another thing. That, that's another thing that pops up in badly translated Japanese stuff. The use of the word anyway at the end, at the beginning of a phrase in an otherwise dramatic uh, exchange, one character will say anyway at the beginning of a of a phrase. I think that's supposed to sound more uh, more s- dramatic than it does. Like maybe in any case or something like that. But they just use the word anyway. Well, I doubt this was written well in Japanese anyway. To be yeah, but, but yeah, <laughs> you're part. You're part of the Wait, problem, Ted. Uh, oh, no, shit. when you use the word anyway, it's supposed to sound stupid and offhand, exactly the way Ted just used it. Yeah, it's not hey, supposed wait. to be. So- <laughs> it's not supposed to be something that you say in the middle of a in the middle of a conversation with a hated rival or a, an adversary that you're about to kill. Okay, <laughs> it's something that you say in a in, in a in a stupid irrelevant conversation about video games or something at the kitchen table. Um, <laughs> anyway, welcome to the final part of the Mega Man X6 commentary, ladies and gentlemen. You know, actually, I kind of like this game. Yeah. <laughs> ah, the mine has snapped. We finally reached the best part of the playthrough, the part in which it ends. So, <laughs> I'm feeling pretty optimistic right now as well. Oh my Marco, god. Marco, zero. Ladies oh, and gentlemen, this gate is closed. Yeah! <laughs> the end of the game. We're done. We're done. No surprise final boss at all. We're out. Wait a minute. Oh, Gate. Robots don't have DNA. That's fucking, <laughs> fucking stupid. Uh, no wonder I couldn't analyze that motor oil. <laughs> <laughs> he was prepared for this just in case. 
I really don't want to use this. What is it, a nuke? Sigma's back! Why? Why did you bring because back him? Because he is! No, but why did Gate bring him back? What possible reason would there be to do that? That is... Oh, look at this. There's this jar. It says Satan on it. Hmm, I'm just going to open up the jar. Oh, I wonder how that will turn out. Oh, uh, I'm opening the jar. I can't help myself. I know this is stupid, but I'm doing it anyway. So go back to the music. I love this track right here. And of course they're playing it in the best part of the game. Yeah. Uh, boss rush time. The angel isn't even torn up anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, oh. so John, now and we now gotta make done. an even better <laughs> boss rush destroying cannon. It's the size of a plant, and, yeah. it, and it sucks up the power of Mega Man, Mega Man 4, and it, it blows up but all it, the boss But only, it only blows up eight bosses. Aww. Sorry, the, to, but whatever, again. Play. Oh, look, he's dead. Hooray. <laughs> oh, look, my job ba -da, here is ba -da, done. Oh, ba -da, fuck, he's ba -da, ba -da. <laughs> he's, he's like the easiest Sigma fight, probably, next Without to... a doubt, the easiest Sigma. Yeah. Hey, you got through all this bullshit, they might as well throw you a bone. Oh, so what, they trying to justify it? <laughs> <laughs> this is, you know, it, it seems like they, they wanted to bring Sigma back, but they also didn't want him to hijack the plot. Well, he, so... he hijacks the plot like Ganondorf. It's his job. <laughs> uh, but Form 2 has one of my favorite Sigma boss battle music of all time. Yeah, I gotta agree with that. It is such a phenomenal... It's a remix of... What the... the... I'll show you what terror is all about! Die, Zero! Just die! <laughs> Zello! Zello! <laughs> Come on, do I it! I need scissors! 61! <laughs> Come on, kill me, Zero! <laughs> Come on, Zello! Zello! I mean, Zello! Anyway, we get And up. that's that. And you didn't go. even need to use the goddamn energy tank! <laughs> Easiest Sigma in the series. Yeah. He only. Uh, what? That's so what is his. And I'm yeah. sure he'll never come back again. <laughs> he totally won't be at X7. Or 8. <laughs> it's over. God, you take <laughs> Sigma. Stop taking too long to explode. Man, Sigma really lost his head after that fight. That's not how you get ahead in life. Yeah, you gotta really try to get ahead of the curve. The idea Fighter is basically. Akiteru? I think he. Do you <laughs> had a plan after I, I this? Think, I don't think. I don't know. He kind of. He realized. Oh crap! My name's gonna be on this, and he ran the other way. <laughs> The idea is Inafune wanted to end it with X5, so Mega Man fans like to consider X5 the final game, and the other ones are just non-canon. Capcom made them because they wanted extra money, and the only good one's X8 anyway, so who cares? And X8 doesn't answer any questions either, so who cares? <laughs> it, it adds more questions. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Were we supposed anyway. to be feel bad that game You died? failed at testing the game, Robayon75. <laughs> if that is your real name, <laughs> I doubt it is. Fucking Maverick. Anyway, that's Mega Man X6. There's not much else I can say that hasn't already been said by countless others. Yeah, it, this is a pretty bad Mega Man game in general. And I, I, the only way I find any enjoyment out of it is when I cheat. <laughs> so get that cheat code out. Play as Black Zero because at that point I think the game becomes tolerable to the point where I've played worse. But, at the same time, I have yet to fully experience X7. I got a feeling that's going to be a bit of a debate with me. And, a part of me does want to say, I still think Mega Man and Base is a top contender for worst Mega Man game. Well, now that you've replayed this, I gotta wonder, gotta wonder, do you still hold that X3 is a worse game than X6? X3 is boring. X6 is irritating. But, if we we're going to compare the two, then... Yeah, it, it was it was easier for me to play X6 than it was X3, Ted. Yeah. And, yeah, so, uh, that's it for X6. I don't know when the fuck I'm going to get into X7. Well, you I'm have not... to play X7 for the first time, right? Yeah, that's true, too. Blind uh, you play know, through. Not really Blind play through. Blind play through. I don't through. know. <laughs> We'd be there forever. Thank you guys for watching. Dude, Harry's this... was a fantastic night, and take care. This isn't some call me Johnny. Johnny. I also say the Super Gamer Brothers, Johnny. Too. This game still sucks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> eh, violence. <laughs> <laughs>